Welcome to Two Venture with the founder, Professor Ji. Today, we'll cover the six steps necessary for you to start your own business. Hi, I'm the Fan, the Professor Z, your real-life homeless to Ivy League professor, attorney, and serial entrepreneur. If you've been thinking about starting your own business, congratulations. For many people, that's the first step to a life of prosperity, satisfaction, and success. But before your business starts operating, there's some very important things that you have to do, and we'll cover them one by one today. If you're watching this video about how to start a business, I hope that you have done enough business planning. If you haven't done it, I have a whole series of videos on how to plan for a new business. The link is right here. The six things I'm covering today are the absolute essentials. There will be a lot more things to do, and I will discuss them in detail in future videos. Please subscribe so you can get notified when new contents come out. If you're about to start a business, the first step before anything else is to decide the ownership structure of your business. If you're going about this by yourself, that's easy. You will be a solo owner. But if you want other people involved, there's some very important considerations. Perhaps you have a business partner who will bring in money or skills or time or some other things that they can contribute. You must first decide before anything else how much ownership they should receive. If you don't want a partner, but you want other people to help you as a part of a team, you then have to decide whether you want to pay them or you want to give them ownership interest. Some team members will want to get paid. Other team members will want to have a stake in the business. It's not an easy question to answer, and you must decide on a case-by-case -case basis. But you should definitely decide this and make sure everyone agrees before you start. Once you settle on a team, the next thing you should do is to choose your business name. You might wonder, why make this as a step? Of course, every business has a name. And what's the big deal about choosing one? Most business owners already know what name they want to use. It's probably something that describes the business or something that they personally like. But not every perfect name is a perfect business name. There's a lot more that goes into it. Are there other businesses using that name? Is it even available? What if the name you want to use is a part of a trademark owned by someone else? What if the website domain is not available? The easiest time and perhaps the only time to consider these things to answer these questions are before you start a business. Once you start, it will cost time, money, and effort to change your name. So choose carefully. The third step is choosing a business structure or entity. For most people, a business is a business. What's the difference between an LLC and an Inc? Can you answer that? For most small business owners, the entity choice doesn't really make that much of a practical difference other than which form to file at tax time. But from legal and business perspectives, the choice of entity might make a world of difference. It changes how you manage and govern your business, it changes potential of liabilities, and it can substantially change how much tax you pay. It's a complex topic and a lot goes into it. I will cover it in a future video. After you determine what kind of business is set up, the next is to register your business. This is actually when you legally form your business. You do that by registering your business entity with the state, sign up for the necessary tax accounts, and apply for various business licenses. Depending on what state and municipality you're in, there are different requirements. You have to be careful that you register your business with all the required agencies. If you miss something, you might be subject to back taxes or even fines. This is where most people get professional help, such as getting a lawyer to help them finish the process. I highly suggest you do the same. The next step is build and protect your brand. As soon as you start operating your business, you're also starting to build a brand. You will build a reputation and recognition from the consumers. This, believe it or not, for many businesses, is the most important asset that you will have, your intellectual property. Intellectual property is a kind of property that belongs to your business that's abstract but very valuable. It includes different types of things, such as ideas, images, logos, brand recognition, business processes, and even your customer list. Most people are not familiar with what they are and how to protect them. Some of you may know we got to get a trademark. It goes much deeper than that. And we will talk about this in detail in the future. 
Lastly, you have to properly set up management. And by management, I don't mean the operational management of your business. I mean the governance, the business management. Most of you probably have heard of the saying, if you didn't write it down, it didn't happen. In business, mostly everything has to be properly documented by writing it down. Beyond the accounting and tax purposes, it's important to document other business decisions and processes. I'm talking about formation documents and agreements between you and your partners, your employees, your contractors, and your customers. Any corporate governance documents, such as meeting minutes, action resolutions, and other documents showing how your business was run. Remember, the proof is in the details, and it's up to you to keep detailed records. Well, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? It is a lot. As you grow, you will probably feel the need to have someone to help you with these tasks. But in the beginning, it is your job, and make sure you do it right. If you don't know what to do, I'm here to help. And if you feel overwhelmed, please find a professional to help you. Well, there you have it. Please stay tuned for a detailed explanation of each of the steps in the coming weeks. Again, this is Define the Professor Z, guiding you on your journey to success, freedom, and satisfaction. I wish you the best of luck setting up your business. Until next time, be successful.